Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Disabled Reviewer and today we're taking a look at the Nissan Leaf. Now before we get started, I just want to cover a couple of things. As you can probably tell, it's very wet at the moment, the weather is an absolute nightmare. So this actual review has taken two takes. Uh, one, because of the weather and two, because of the weather we had technical difficulties, it's been an absolute nightmare, hence the costume change as well, compared to other scenes in the video. So, let's get started. As you can see, it's absolutely stunning this car is. I do like it. Um, if I'm honest, I'm, re I'm really liking the red part of it, simply because you don't see many of these in red, they're usually white or that creamy colour, which I'm not a fan of. Um, it is all electric, and my favourite part of this car, which I think is really, really different, is this. On the keys, there's three buttons, unlock, lock, and then a button to open the charging port. Hold it, and as you can see, it pops up and you've got your two different charges, one for your trickle charging and one for your rapid charger. Um, so we're going to close that, um, and then we're going to come around to the side, because I want to come and show you the interior of the car. So the boot is fairly big, it does fit my chair, not whole, you have to take it apart, um, which you'll see now in a second in the video. Um, it does fit, like I said, so that's a plus, that's, that's always a bonus. Um, now, the back doors, um, they're not very, um, they don't seem to be very big, but actually, they do have quite a big gap in them. Now, I could actually get into the back of this car um, with a bit of a struggle, but I could actually get in. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's lovely. Uh, it does come with leather, this particular model, which is uh, the Nissan E leaf plus um yeah so we're going to come around to the front door and the doors they're not the lightest but they're not heavy either um and i've lived with this car for a week and it's it is you'll see in a second um that it is quite difficult to get in um but you'll see that in a minute and one thing i forgot to show you was to come around to the back um and i'm going to open the boot um, and show you the inside. I just forgot about that. This is because of where the weather scene puts me off. Um, so we're going to show you inside. Um, so as you can see, it's a, quite a massive gap. Um, we've got all our filming equipment in here, so just you have to mind that. And we've got maybe I think we've got a towel or two in there simply because it's raining. But anyway, we come around to the front, and now we're going to see me get in. It is a bit of a climb. You'll see there in a minute. But once we're in. It's comfortable. Here we go. And as you can see, we're in. So this is the drive of the Leaf. And I've got to be honest, it's, it's a really nice drive. It's comfortable. Um, you do get a bit of range anxiety because obviously it's electric. Um, but I've taught myself to kind of, instead of looking at the mileage, looking at the percentage that you've got instead so like it may say you've got 175 miles left but you've actually got an 81 percent battery so that's the way i'm looking at it and I, you feel a little bit better about it but otherwise i mean it's got the e-pedal which is like the regenerated braking so if you press that you don't technically need to use the brake pedal at all um, which like i said that generates a little bit more charge in the battery um it's very very sensitive in terms of like um so lane departure has got that, it's got pro pilot, which means that you can put that like cruise control. But if there's a car that's in front of you, it slows down. If a car comes to a stop, it stops. Um, if you hold the steering wheel, it does, you know, turn around the bends at the same time. There's any bends in the road. So that's a good little function. I do like that. Uh, it has got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, your FM radio. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you do have to plug your phone into. Um, it's not available via the Bluetooth option, not that I found anyway. Um, I do find that the media unit is a little bit complicated to use at first, but once you get used to it, it's great. Obviously, when you put the um, air conditioning on and things, uh, it does drain your battery a little bit more. And on days like today, when you've got the windscreen wipers going and your lights, obviously it does take a little bit more battery. But we've come down the hill and we've generated, or regenerated, I should say, an extra 1% of battery, so that's good. Um, just kind of covers your wipers and your the heating systems that you use on the way down the hill i suppose um it's got heated seats which is great the gear stick i find really really different it's modern um we have reviewed a nissan leaf previously 
which was one of the first ones that came out, um, which was about two years ago. Now, I do believe there is a difference between this one and the previous model in terms of height um, when you're getting in, as you would have seen. Um, it is a, a fairly nice car. Personally, I wouldn't use one to kind of, you know, do long distance driving. But I mean, if you're only going to, to a supermarket or you're going out for a meal, you know, just check that you've got superchargers near or some sort of charging option near where you, where you, you know, where you go in. Um, and technically, the trip becomes free. So, like, there's a certain supermarket beginning with a T. I'm not going to mention the name. Um, but they provide chargers. They don't need trickle chargers. But technically, it would count for the charge or the, the usage that you've used then to go to the supermarket. Um, you know, if it's, even if it's like 1% or 2%. You've covered that bit of charge that you've used um the ride itself is fairly comfortable um i mean you don't really feel any bumps um yeah it's got electric um what do you call it automatic wipers um it's got lane departure it's got park assist which i've got to be honest is a really good you know it's a good feature to have i've used it this morning um, for the first time and i've got to be honest um it took took me back a little bit because you don't have to use the pedals you've got to hold the button um, which is it's really really good so we're going to try and show you that um, it's got you know generally it's a good little car like I said if you're only going to be going around town and things then technically going around town is free oh that's the other thing it's got it's got heated seats and like I said but it's also got a heated steering wheel so on a really cold day which we've had recently um, I've actually lived with this car for a week um, I've done the school run in it, and um, I've gone shopping in it, and to live with, for me, it's great, because I, I don't tend to go very far, um, unless it's for the disabled reviewer. Um, but yeah, to go to the supermarket or to do the school run, you know, it is technically it's free. Um, I've actually plugged it in via the socket in my house, um, so just a general three-pin socket. It does take around 11 hours for a full charge, but like I said, if you're only doing the school run and going to the supermarket, then technically those trips do become free. Um, other than that, right, yes, it does use the electric and it cost me £10 um, today to use it as a supercharger. Um, and I believe it cost me about £10 or £12 to charge it at home. Um, yes, it sounds expensive, but when you think about it, it's not really because you only would need, if you were only doing short trips, one full charge a week. And, you know, depending on where the school is that you're going to, for example, or the supermarket, then technically the trip is free. Um, so, yeah, they, they are a really good little car. And personally, would I have one? Like I said earlier, um, the only problem I would have with a full electric car is the charging fact of it. Um, because I wouldn't be able to charge it myself um, if I was, that was out and about. Um, but then again, there's ways and means around that if I really did want one. Um, so yeah, I personally think they're a good little car and if, like I said, you want something to nip back and forth town, the Nissan Leaf is definitely, definitely one to consider. So we've come to charge uh, the Nissan, the Leaf, and um, one thing that I've just noticed myself, because I've never done it before, is the fact that the charging stations are like few and far between. So we have managed to find a rapid charger, but the only problem is, if you're disabled and you're on your own, like sometimes for example i do if i could get out of the car by myself and put my wheelchair together and things like that there is no physical way of me actually being able to plug the car in myself so that's the only problem i find with an electric so far if i'm honest after living with this for a week is that if i was to charge it then i would have to have someone with me to plug it in um because there's just no way of me doing it whereas if it was a petrol car what I tend to do is I either use um, my little pinging key ring thing that I've got or I drive up to the petrol station and then I ask someone for assistance. Um, for example, I'll either drive up to the window where you pay and ask if they can send someone to give me a bit of assistance or I'll ask another member of the public that are outside if they can, when they go inside the store, if they can ask someone to come out and give me a bit of a hand. But again, with a charging station, you haven't got that because there's no attendance here to help you with it. So maybe it's something for companies to think about and i know that osprey the charging points i've got to be honest if i hadn't googled for 50 kilowatt charging points the rapid charges i wouldn't have known about them so 
if you want to take a look at them check out osprey because they have got quite a few charging points and i mean this only takes 90 minutes um for this particular car to charge uh, to full from 20 percent um so yeah check out osprey i'll put a link down in the bottom for you as well to check out because they can also go an app um which you can check them out the nissan you can also download the nissan connect app so you can keep an eye on your charger so like for example you could plug it into charge you can go to the cinema you can go and have food and by the time you come out your car is fully charged and the app will notify you to tell you that it's fully charged and also you can control the heating and everything like so if you want to set the car warm for you ready if you're going to work when morning is cold click it on the app put the heating on and the car is lovely and warm for you when you get in um so yeah there's a couple of different really funky features about this nissan which we'll have a little look to add in a second but yeah i just wanted to cover the charging points because i don't suppose many people would have thought about that but that is something to really really think about if you are going to get a full electric car then i would really consider how are you going to manage with plugging it in you could plug it into your house and um, just via a normal socket in the wall um but the only problem with that it, it, it can take up to like 11 hours um so it, you know it's something to really think about if you don't use the car much you use it once a day then maybe that could work for you but i mean if you're using it every single day you know you need to really think about like how are you going to manage with plugging it in if you go somewhere um so yeah just wanted to cover that so let's get on to the next bit so as you can see we're inside the car as you would just notice it's now the transfer in a little bit difficult you know i've had i've had worse as we know um but it is fairly simple we are in um and yeah once you're in it's very comfortable there is leather seats um which kind of help you slide in a little bit easier on especially on a day like today when the seat's getting wet um, and then when you get in you do get your nice heated seat which is always a bonus uh instant heat because it's electric um when you put the air conditioning unit on can't fault it um we've got a lot of space in here um we've got loads of cup holders as you can see i would have had my coffee earlier on um i would like to mention i've lived with this car for a week I've used it on my everyday, um, and I've got to be honest, I'm very, very impressed with it. Um, minus the fact, like I said, they're getting in and out. Once you're in, it's perfect, because for me, you know, I don't go very far. Um, so it's kind of free, if I'm honest. Like I said, it's, you know, you will have to charge it home, which does cost you with a tenner. But then when you go to somewhere like a supermarket, beginning with a T, you just plug it in. It kind of cover your, your, your drive there and back home um because they are trickle chargers which means they only charge it a little bit but you should get about one or two percent back from that charge whilst you're shopping so like i said technically it's a free trip um yeah it comes with a lot of different things uh automatic lights automatic wipers pro pilot heated steering wheel eco mode uh the e-pedal which is like your regenerated braking which i've used pretty much every day since i've had it so technically it's generating free power from when you're going down hills um you don't actually use have to use a brake pedal either for that it's all done with the accelerator when you take your foot on and off um which i i actually like that it's really impressive actually um it's got electric windows um electric wing, wing mirrors there's quite a lot of things i want the gearbox i think is really different really really different it's like such a small little nose you move it up and down for drive in reverse and it's as simple as that um it's got a start button it's got usb charging points it does have uh aircon so yeah it is a really nice car um i want to kind of get into the rating side of things because yeah all right like i said the getting in and, out, in and out is a bit of an issue but i mean you know i can deal with it i've lived with it for a week um and yeah so practicality i'm gonna score it a four because once you're in it's got a lot of space inside the door bins are fairly large my wheelchair fits in the boot comfort i'm going to score it a four again simply because again it's very comfortable you hardly feel any bumps when you're going over them um so yeah i like that part of it um it's got the heated seats as well which is always a bonus like i said you then got performance um which i've got to be honest for a full electric i'm fairly surprised how quite quick it is but also not just that it's a very good car to like i said nip around town and you know it if you're using the regenerated braking and you are plugging into these trickle chargers here and there technically you're getting a free trip wherever you're going um so yeah I'd, I'd score that a four and then we've got accessibility i'm gonna score that a three simply because it is it is you know it is a little bit difficult for me to get in and out um but yeah there are ratings and 
like I said earlier in the video, I don't want anyone to judge this video because of the situation that it's in, because it went under a tunnel, um, and it's hammering down with rain, but this is the best that we can do. And I think, to be honest, it's going to be a fairly good video. Um, but yeah, don't forget to click subscribe. And I promise you, future videos, you know, they may be the same as this, or they may be better than this. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe and keep up to date. And if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments box below. Um, there'll also be a link to the charging points that we've used today. There'll also be a link to your Nissan website, to the Leaf act Nissan Leaf actual page, um, for you to take a look at all the different options that you can get. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in your next video. Thanks, guys.